What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another SketchUp and InScape tutorial for you. So in today's video I wanted to talk a little bit about how to create a panorama inside of InScape and then upload it online where you can send a link out so people can see your files. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so to start off this is a model that uh, I've downloaded from the 3D warehouse and we've used this in the past. This is the LA house model. I've used this for several different things but in this case uh, this is the LA house by SZ Kristoff so you can go look in the um, you can go look in the 3d warehouse and download this model and follow along and I have done a few things like I've swapped out these tables or, or these chairs and then some of this other stuff with Enscape proxies and so if we were to open this up in Enscape it's gonna look something like this so it's a pretty decent rendered model it's a pretty good example of uh, how we might use our panorama files and the one thing I might do is I think I'm gonna load in an HDRI file in the background just to give this a different look so I'm just gonna go into my settings and under atmosphere I already have this HDR file in here I'm just gonna click on load skybox from file and this skybox I've downloaded from HDRI Haven which is a website where you can download uh, free HDRI files you can also support them and uh, as you support them they bring more things in there but in this case I took this just because I like the mountains and everything else and honestly I probably should have downloaded a higher resolution version of it but I think this is gonna look okay um, so let's go ahead and take a look at what that's going to look like with the HDRI in there. So if I open this up, you can see how that's going to have that um, in the background there. And if you kind of look out the window over here, there's more hills over here as well. So you could definitely adjust that. Um, you could adjust the brightness maybe a little bit. So up or down using the little slider right here in order to try to make that kind of match a little bit better. Um, you could also rotate it around inside of InScape. So just kind of depending on what you're trying to do and what kind of image you want to create. So maybe I'll do something like this. That way I've got kind of a hill over here. I've got a mountain right there. It just creates kind of a cool image. So I've got my InScape rendering pretty much ready to go. Um, I've got the models in here that I want and uh, we'll just kind of leave this as is for now. Well now what we need to do is we need to export this to a panorama file. So and the way that you can export this to the panorama file is go back into SketchUp and you can right click and turn on InScape capturing. What InScape capturing is going to do is that's going to give you a bunch of different options in here for different things that you can like uh, export like like your exe standalone so if you wanted this to be a file where somebody could just open it up and fly around in it you could use this there's also a uh, web standalone stuff so um, you can um, do things online but in this case we want to focus specifically on the render panorama note there is an option over here for render panorama for cardboard so if you wanted to download this in like a google cardboard or something like that um, so people can kind of view the panorama that way I mean, you can definitely do that as well but we're gonna focus specifically on this option right here for render panorama and so before we render our panorama what we want to do is we want to go inside of InScape and just make sure that our camera is kind of centered where we want it to be so in this case I kind of want it in the middle of this living room right here to get this kind of 360 view of the living room and then the mountains and then you've got the kitchen over here and things like that so this is kind of the view that I want so I have that all ready to go well, once you're ready to go and you have the view that you want you're gonna click on the button for render panorama and I'll drag this over here so you can see what it's doing basically it goes through and it renders a bunch of images of your space and then it stitches them together into a panoramic view and they're all based on where your camera was when you click the uh, export panorama button so as this goes through and this renders this you can see how it's kind of filling in the blanks and the spaces in here as it renders and so once it renders what it's going to do is I'll drag this back off to the side what this is going to do is it's not really a file that's on your computer at the moment um, what it does is you need to click on the button for manage uploads and so when you click on the button for manage uploads you can see how I have a couple different panoramas that I've created in here well it gives you a couple different options there's an option to upload panorama to cloud there's an option for fly to panorama position and then there's also an option for save panorama to file which I'm gonna show you just so you have an idea of what kind of file that's gonna create so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, 
click Save on this, and we can open that file. But generally, you're not going to use that file so much, but it's definitely in there. So if you pull that up, that, that image file is going to look something like this. But you can see how you can't fly around it as an image. That's just kind of the panorama file. And if you want to fly around the image, what you need to do is you need to click on this, and you need to click the button for Upload Panorama to Cloud. And then this goes really fast, even on my internet connection, which is not a very good internet connection. So it doesn't take a super long time for it to do this, but it's going to go ahead and it's going to upload this to the cloud. And then once you've uploaded it to the cloud, you can just click on the button for uh, View Panorama in Browser. And what that's going to do is that's going to pop up the Enscape Panorama Viewer inside of your browser. And so what I can do is I can click and drag around in order to see this 360 degree panorama view that it rendered. So, and I believe you can take this link and you can send it out and pretty much anyone can uh, can access it. You can see how there's also a VR mode as well. Um, but you can take this file and, or this link and you can send it to people and they can view this panorama as well. So creating this panoramic view is really easy to do and it also, um, it, it includes the image for the HDRI in the background with all your lighting and everything else. So it's just a super easy to use function. And then if you ever want to get back to that, you can just go click on this. Um, you can just go click on this again. So you can see how in your uploads under my panoramas, I have multiple different panoramas because I've exported this multiple times, but you can just click on any of those in order to get to this link in order to view that. And I believe, I believe that you just share that link out and people can access this based on that. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Did you know Inkscape could export panoramas like this? What do you think about this, this feature? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.